Welcome to another Tech Ambrosia Quick Sip. This is an aftermarket GPU cooler. These aren't super common in the PC building landscape, at least not ones like this, a full bolt-on air cooler that includes a custom heat heatsink, fan shroud, and new fans. Today, though, I want to talk to you very briefly about aftermarket cooling options for your graphics cards, and hopefully introduce you to a few options you haven't heard of yet. All set? Bottoms up. Aftermarket GPU coolers make sense if you exist in one of the two extremes of the PC building market. Either you're a high-end builder who's looking to squeeze the most possible performance out of a new GPU, or you're nursing along an older GPU that's still useful to you, but your card's cooler is starting to show its age, possibly in irritating ways. Like their much more familiar counterparts, CPU coolers, GPU coolers come in two broad categories, air cooling and water cooling. Since this channel's focus is on value-oriented tech, let's start with the less expensive options first, before we get into the enthusiast-grade products. The least expensive option to revitalize an older GPU with a bad fan or two is the Evercool RVF 2F. This is a dual 80mm fan bracket and included low-profile fans that clamps onto an existing GPU heatsink. It can replace a broken twin fan cooler or convert a single fan design into a twin fan design, so long as it's sufficiently large and not a blower-style cooler. Here, I've used it to replace the rattling stock fans on my aging GTX 1050. Moving upwards in the cost brackets, we have Arctic with a couple of entries. The first is the Accelero L2 Plus, an all-in-one single fan solution for cards with TDPs under 120 watts. This universal cooler isn't super easy to find these days, and it's unclear whether the Evercool fan bracket or this cooler would be a more effective way to resuscitate an older low-end GPU, but it is an option if you need to squeeze just a little more life out of that old graphics card. If you're looking to breathe life back into a higher-end GPU, Arctic also makes the Accelero Extreme line of coolers. This is an Accelero Extreme 3, a beefy triple fan 5 heat pipe design that should have no problem cooling even power-hungry monster GPUs like my 1080 Ti here. The styling of the Accelero is controversial, to say the least, but its performance isn't. It's the single easiest and cheapest way to cool off a hot-running, high-end GPU that uses a compatible mounting plate and board layout. From here, we move into the more enthusiast-oriented spaces in GPU cooling. With these products, the driving word is custom. These are intended for the enthusiasts looking to take a perfectly functioning new GPU and make it their own. We'll start off the enthusiast products with the Raijin Tech Morpheus. The Morpheus is a beastly GPU air cooler that allows you to choose exactly how much cooling you're looking for. It comes with fan mounting hardware, but no fans, allowing you to clip on your choice of up to two 120mm standard case fans onto the heatsink, or forgo fans entirely, cooling lower-end GPUs silently through raw heatsink surface area. Our next stop in enthusiast GPU cooling is the Kraken G12 from NZXT. This is a $20 bracket that you mount to your GPU in place of its stock cooler. It's not really a cooler in and of itself, but it enables you to mount one of 30 different aftermarket CPU all-in-one liquid coolers to your GPU, instantly transforming it from an air-cooled GPU into a liquid-cooled GPU, increasing cooling capacity and reducing noise under load. All of the options we've looked at so far, whether enthusiast or budget-oriented, are pretty decent value plays. You spend a small amount of money, you get a small amount of cooling. Spend a larger amount of money, you get a larger amount of cooling. The last category of aftermarket GPU coolers is firmly embedded in the enthusiast side of the PC building market. These coolers are entirely about performance, aesthetics, and customization. I am, of course, talking about custom loop GPU water blocks. These are aimed squarely at the enthusiast PC builder and represent not only an extreme aesthetic choice, which is fine, really, but also offer a realistic solution for stuffing three or four GPUs into a typical computer case. If you're doing high-end rendering work or machine learning using multiple GPUs, you have basically two options. A bunch of hot, loud, blower-style air coolers crammed in next to each other, or custom loop liquid cooling using water blocks like these. Not an unrealistic scenario, just a decidedly high-end one. 
GPU water blocks are available from a wide range of PC parts manufacturers, including Corsair, Fantex, AlphaCool, and EK, and are just one small piece of the complex custom loop liquid cooling puzzle. So, that was a whirlwind tour of aftermarket GPU coolers, from budget to high-end. Were there any that surprised you? Any that you hadn't heard of before? Hopefully, this overview has been a helpful addition to planning your next PC build. Thank you for watching this Tech Ambrosia Quick Sip. Have a good night.